on memory and the Eucharist. Memory makes us part of a larger story. It is important that we remember God's many gifts. Without memory, we uproot ourselves from the soil that nourishes us and allow ourselves to be carried away like leaves in the wind. In the act of remembering, we rebuild our strongest connections and it helps makes us it helps to make us feel part of the large story. Memory is not something private. It is the path that unites us to God and to others. The Bible recounts how our relationship with the Lord is transmitted from generation to generation by word of mouth. But what happens when that chain of transmission of memories is broken? God knows how short our memories can be. Because of this, he left us a memorial which goes far beyond words or signs. He gave us food. For it is not easy to forget something we have actually tasted. He left us bread in which he is truly present, alive and true, with all the flavor of his love. The Eucharist is no mere memory, it is a fact. In Mass and services, the death and resurrection of Jesus are set before us. We cannot deny the fact of the body and blood of Christ before us. We cannot deny the sacrifice Jesus made for us when we are faced each week with its proof at the table of the Lord. There are three aspects of our weakened memory that the Eucharist heals. Most importantly, the celebration of the Lord's body and blood heals our orphaned memory. Many people have memories marked by a lack of affection and bitter disappointments caused by those who should have given them love and instead orphaned their hearts. God, however, heals us by infusing our memory with a love that is greater than any of our pain. The Eucharist brings us the Father's faithful love, which heals our sense of being orphans. It fills our hearts with the consoling love of the Holy Spirit. Second, the Eucharist also heals our negative memory, which focuses solely on our problems and errors. Jesus comes to tell us instead that we are precious in his eyes and worthy of sharing a table with him. And not only because he is generous, but because he is truly in love with us. He sees and loves the beauty and goodness that we are. The Eucharist immunizes us against sadness because it contains the antibodies to our negative memories and we are thus transformed into God-bearers, bearers of joy. Finally, the Eucharist heals our closed memory. Wounds inflicted upon our memory which make us fearful and suspicious of others. 
As a result, we arrogantly distance ourselves from others in the false hope that we will be able to control any situation. Yet, this is indeed an illusion, for only love can heal fear at its root and free us from the self-centeredness that imprisons us. Jesus comes to us in the disarming fragility of the host. He crushes the shell of our self-centeredness and breaks down our interior walls and the par paralysis of our hearts. Offering himself in the simplicity of bread, Jesus invites us to not waste our lives on useless things like hate and grudges. The Eucharist satisfies our hunger for material things and kindles our desire to serve. The Eucharist makes us all links in a change, chain of solidarity. In the Eucharist, Jesus draws close to us. Let us not turn away from those around us.